Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Glad to have you here like always. In today's video, we are gonna be talking about humidity. Now I know that probably a lot of you guys may be having problems with the humidity in your aviary and you may even not be aware that this is the issue that you're having. If you've been having eggs during the breeding season, that start off fertile and end up dying very early stage it could be a variety of reasons but one of the reasons that could be causing this is the humidity in your aviary if the humidity is too high it could kill that embryo and doesn't it allow it to lose significant weight that it needs to lose during the developing stages in order to continue forming itself and if you have eggs during the later stages or an embryo that is completely developed and it is supposed to hatch but it doesn't break through the eggshell or you see that it starts to break the egg but you find it dead after breaking certain parts of the egg it could be because the humidity in your aviary is too low and once this happens when the humidity drops below a certain point what's going to happen is that the eggshell dries up and this chick dries within that eggshell and it gets stuck to the eggshell and it doesn't have enough force to break through that shell and break free of it so it ends up dying so one of the biggest problems that I've been having here lately, or not lately, but ever since I built this aviary, and if you've been following the channel, you know that this aviary was finished during October 2021, was the humidity. Since day one, that has been my biggest enemy inside of this aviary because unfortunately, since this is made out of metal and aluminum, it varies very drastically when compared to the garage where I had the birds before. When the outdoor temperature is very cold, it can get extremely humid inside of here because it is warm in here and vice versa when the outdoor temperature like for example now we're about to start the summertime it's starting to get very hot outside but since i have an ac unit inside of this aviary it is very cool in here so what happens is the humidity starts to drastically drop down for example today the humidity in here is around 37 that is very low so one of the things that i do when the humidity drops that low is i give all of the birds water to bathe in and this is something that is excellent not only because the birds enjoy it and it helps them out stay healthy stay clean feathered and so on but it helps me increase that humidity and get it higher to where it needs to be and for days for example during the winter time when the outdoor temperatures are cooler and this indoor aviary stays warm one of the things that i like to use is the humidifier and this humidifier the dehumidifier will go ahead and suck up that moisture or that extra humidity in the air and dry it up a bit so that the humidity can come back down to the normal levels that i need it to be at now you're probably wondering or asking yourself what are those normal levels where does the humidity need to be at well, it's very simple during the breeding season or year round you want to try to maintain the humidity in your bird room between 50 and 60 percent this is the ideal ranges that you want for your humidity and it's normal for it to go back up and down up and down it doesn't have to be consistent but as long as you can keep it between 50 and 60 percent you're going to have success during your breeding season one of the things that i do here though is when I know that I have chicks that are due to hatch, I go ahead and I increase the humidity a little bit more and I let it go up to 65. And what this does is it helps those chicks break through the eggshell and not get stuck to the eggshell. So this is something that you can also do at home. Again, the best way of doing this is by offering your birds bathing water. You can also, for example, if you have a bird room or aviary like this where you have a tile on the floor, you can throw some water on the floor and kind of mop the floor around, get your floors clean. And this is also going to help increase the humidity inside of your bird room. So I really hope that this video has helped you guys. If you've been having trouble understanding the humidity in your aviary or bird room or if you didn't specifically know that maybe the humidity was the cause as to why maybe some of those early stage death have been happening with some of the embryos in your eggs or late term death where you see a chick that just couldn't break through the eggshell like always guys if you've enjoyed the video remember to hit a thumbs up consider subscribing if you haven't done so already and like always i hope that you guys have a wonderful day we will see each other in the next video Bye.